Hybridized anthuriums are taking over the aeroid world. The endless variety of crosses, undescribed species, and now variegated versions of anthuriums are hitting the market daily. New unvariegated hybrids go for hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars. But where the dollars go, crime flows. This is the story about the rise of anthurium hybrids. Primarily native to Central and South America, anthurium boasts thousands of species, many of which are undescribed. The heart-shaped anthuriums will be our focus. What started with Crystallinum, Frigetii, Magnificum, the Queen, the King, and Luxurians has morphed into a trend of massive, dark, velvety leaves. Like Ace of Spades, Delta Force, Anthurium Pap, and Dresslery. What looks to be coming next should be a heavily variegated batch of anthuriums of some of our favorites. But anthuriums weren't always so expensive. Before 2020, the average anthurium could be had for between 20 to 40 bucks. As this redditor points out, Ace of Spades seedlings were being sold by Silver Chrome Gardens in 2018 for less than 10 bucks. A plant that now routinely sells out at 300 plus. So what's driving the continued hunt for the hottest new anthurium as the rest of the aeroid world seems to be cooling down? To prove the case we might be in our anthurium era, Silver Chrome Gardens Anthurium Colmanii just won Best in Show at IAS 2023 in Miami two weeks ago. It also helps the mass amount of variety seedlings can express, since they're all individuals. It creates essentially limitless collecting potential. This differs heavily from Philodendron and Monstera, which are produced mostly from stem cutting or TC, which are clones of one another. And tissue culture hasn't fully sunk its teeth into anthurium yet. They also kind of always flower. They even do so indoors under artificial light. They carry both sexual organs, which makes pollination easy. This makes it so the above average plant hobbyist can become a plant breeder and cross some of their favorite anthuriums. Jungle Berry, the source of Mint Monstera, has been hybridizing anthuriums for decades. To paraphrase his words, give anthuriums the right conditions and they'll make some plant babies. This market's beginning to mirror the cannabis market where common names are given to popular hybrids. Take for instance, Dark Mama, which is a cross of The Queen and Pat, and recently sold for $1500 from NSE Tropicals. Sean from Only Plants here on YouTube recently gave an awesome tour of an anthurium show in Indonesia. He shows off some gorgeous hybrids, such as War Aquianum and Magnificum. You can see the influence from both plant parents in the leaves. A little tip for all of us, the mother's name comes first in the cross, then after that comes the pollen of the father. Even this unvariegated seedling is going for over $600 in Indonesia. That's without shipping. The variegated versions of these hybrids start in the three to $5,000 range. Check out this variegated Ace of Spades crossed with red crystallinum. A variegated pap is up for sale for $6,000 here in the US. I don't even want to know the price of Silver Chrome's variegated Ace of Spades. The international market seems to be a bit ahead of us in anthurium collecting and maybe even in breeding. One of the prolific breeders is a guy named Eddie Pronoto. He's an award-winning aeroid breeder in Indonesia that has even bred Philodendron Jennifer, which is a cross of Philodendron Billy and Florida Beauty. You can see the Florida Beauty influence on the leaf shape combined with the Billy here. Eddie has some of the most impressive variegated anthuriums I've ever seen. Like this variegated Magnificum hybrid, he's calling it Bumblebee. If creme brulee bothered you, buckle up. I'm guessing this plant would sell for tens of thousands of dollars. Eddie also hybridizes heavily with the popular Anthurium Pat, a plant with a bit of a drama-filled past that went through a huge popularity bubble a couple years back, just like Dresslaria is going through now. Unfortunately, with the popularity and potential profits from these Anthuriums, poachers enter the Central American habitats and scrape these plants up in mass. Then they export them to the highest bidder. Large exporters of tropical plants in the Central American region have been accused of selling Anthurium Pap and Drusleri of questionable origin. 
Seeing the mother plants would help ease the suspicions, but the investigation is ongoing. To be sure a plant isn't poached, try and buy seeds or seedlings from a reputable local anthurium breeder or grower. There's many on Instagram making their own crosses. And if you buy an adult plant, just be sure to ask of the origin. Though most of the aeroid world is calming down, it seems like the anthurium world is just heating up. Bring on the variegated anthuriums. Please like the video if you enjoyed this type of content. It really helps us out. And tune in next week for another video about plants. Thank you.